It's just another day for the City University newspaper students as they hunt out the juiciest news stories to comment on or create their own blogtastic wonders. But in a blogosphere that's quickly becoming crowded, do blogs actually provide value or are they just a waste of time? I asked some of my fellow students what they thought. Generally, they're perhaps more suited for comment, and perhaps originally that was the way they evolved. But if people get uh, little tidbits of information that perhaps aren't worthy of a whole story, but they just want to put them out there, I think they're quite useful for that sort of thing. And perhaps gauging people's views and you know, it's a good sort of forum device. I think it's it's useful reading blogs about things that you don't necessarily know anything about or you feel very opposite to the opinion that they're expressing. Because then it just opens your mind to other other possibilities and just creates discussion. Yeah, I think blogs are useful because um, like they're useful for stuff which aren't, isn't news stories, but it's quite interesting because you've kind of got that kind of in-between thing, so you can put stuff in a blog post which is, doesn't really want a news story, but it's actually quite interesting. Uh, you get stuff on blogs that you wouldn't get elsewhere, like um, Barack Obama when he said that thing about um, people clinging to their guns out of fear and run-ups to the American elections. Yeah, that, that, that was broken on a blog. But I think a lot of it is a bit self-indulgent and opinionated. Um, I, and also, people don't update them. If you're, like, I never really update mine. I should, but I never really get around to it. Um, and lots of it is drivel, trying to fill it out. But I think if you've got, like, if, if you're an active journalist and you use it quite well, like, I like some of the ones on the BBC website, like Robert Heston's one, or Nick Robinson's one, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, uh, I think they can be useful, but they have to be done properly, otherwise there's no point. Uh, I am, I'm a pluralist, so I, I think it's good to have loads of crap ones, as long as that allows you to have a few good ones, as well. rather than saying only these people can blog and really constrain the media. It's probably millions that I'll, you know, would, would have no interest in ever coming across, let alone will actually read, but uh, that's just because of the freedom, the free, the free sort of nature of being able to set up a blog and just get going, and um, what does it matter if there's lots and lots and lots of bad ones, if you can find a good one every now and then, that makes it worth it. If I was to do a, an independent blog not linked to my journalism MA, I would just do a, a, a kind of opinion kind of blog. You know what I mean? Just sort of saying what I thought about developments in current affairs and how I feel that they impact people and, and basically taking the, the line which a lot of newspapers won't take and can't take, um, which I would be able to take because obviously it's a free publishing platform and advertising.